All right, guys, so let's talk about preceptal cellulitis. As we know, it's an edematous, it's a red, it's a hot and tender to touch eyelid. We wanna watch out for orbital cellulitis, signs and symptoms, which would be APD, proptosis, decreased vision, diplopia, conjunction, and pain with eye movement. If we do suspect orbital, we wanna send out for CT of the brain and orbits. So the etiology could be from a hordeolum or a dacryous astitis, or it can be from an opportunistic infection after trauma. So guys, let's talk about the treatment for this disease. We usually wanna stick with oral medications, and these oral medications usually run a 10 to 14 day course. Option number one is Augmentin 500 or 875 milligrams twice a day, making sure a patient does not have a penicillin allergy. Option two is double strength Bactrim, and that's gonna be one or two tablets twice a day, but making sure the patient doesn't have a sulfa allergy. Option three is gonna be oral moxifloxacin, 400 milligrams once a day, but making sure we don't give that to any Anybody less than 18 years old and the last but certainly not least is doxycycline 100 milligrams twice a day making sure you don't give that to anybody less than eight years old or pregnant women so guys that was instructions for an adult for children I'll cut to a chart that you can reference it's usually based on weight um, you can always pause it as you need to and guys, the follow-up period is really going to be close follow-ups until it's completely resolved. That's pretty much it, guys. I know these spark notes are getting a lot faster, but it's just easier to consume that way. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.